So today is Sunday, actually Sunday, March the 5th, and we're still enjoying a little bit of downtime during Sasha's birthday week. So while we haven't been carrying any cameras around for a little while, we have been doing a little bit of editing. And that led me to think of something new for you guys. I wanted to think up something that you might be entertained with. And that actually led me to going through some of my archive drives. So I dug out a bunch of my old stuff. And surprisingly enough, I come up with some pretty good ideas that I think you guys might like. One thing I came up with was actually my first video vlog ever. And it dates back to October 31st, 2010. Halloween. We were in St. Lucia and we had just arrived about 24 hours earlier. I had six guests on board for a charter we were doing that was from Grenada on up to St. Martin. It was one of my adventure charters, the Up Island Adventure that we do every year. So it was quite an adventure, but what this video is, is actually the first time I ever did a, like a narrated vlog type video. I'd done lots of videos that I'd posted before this one, but they were all basically scenery and music. So while I could just post a link to the old video, well it's been out of the search engines for a long time anyway, so I figured well why not make a new copy of it, I can add a couple of updates for you guys and have some fun with it. So if you're ready to watch, grab yourself a cold beverage, strap yourself in, and welcome to Blast from the Past. <laughs> We arrived in St. Lucia early the next morning at about sunrise and this was everyone's first overnight sail. We just left St. Vincent the night before and had a fantastic sail. It was beautiful. The weather was great. Everything down the coast of St. Vincent was calm. So I think everybody had a great time. So uh, ask them what they thought of it. When the moon came up, it was awesome. I think my favorite part was when it was completely dark and then all of a sudden you could see the sunrise. Yep. That was really cool. All those stars. Oh yeah. Stars. Yeah. 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 A ton of them. It's very peaceful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lucky though that was funny. <laughs> Yeah, well, you were He goes, oh, he thinks he was the only one. I wasn't happy that no one showed up for my pizza party. Oh, oh Jesse, you just had your pizza party. You just eat pizza. We all, we all did. <laughs> That's the prize for surviving the night to get a slice of pizza. That was a cool sale, though. I yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah. You can, I, make, you can make every night sale like that, that would be okay. As we arrived at this beautiful piece of paradise, it was nice to be welcomed back by some familiar faces. Welcome back, <laughs> Marigot Bay is a beautiful protected harbor on the northwest side of St. Lucia. He woke me up. Grumpy. Today's captain. <laughs> Not good. As we came around the reef that protects the inner harbor, we had no idea, nor did anybody else on the island, that the storm out on the Atlantic was brewing into a major hurricane and heading straight for us. Yeah, man. Come on. <laughs> Still got him, man. Our friend Herman in Marigold Bay is always on hand no matter what time sophisticated lady arrives. He's there to help us get all set. You're even out early today. I didn't know if anybody would be up. Yeah, up very early, man. In Marigold Bay, everything happens at a very relaxed pace. Nothing moves fast here. And even on Friday, the day before, Tropical Storm Tomas was supposed to arrive. Everything was business as usual. By Friday afternoon, word had trickled down that Tropical Storm Tomas was going to arrive over St. Lucia as a Category 1 hurricane. So we put into a dock, and lucky enough, because we were there early, we got in beside a mega yacht, Catalonian Spirit, who acted as a great wind shadow for us during the bulk of the storm.
by Saturday morning, we were all settled in as the first wave of Hurricane Tomas arrived and brought us about 30 mile per hour steady winds. By noon on Saturday, we were already starting to see sustained winds over 40 miles per hour and just starting to gust over 50. Yet everything on Sophisticated Lady remained relatively calm as we stayed in the wind shadow of the Catalonian Spirit. Marigo Bay has always been known as a hurricane hole in the Caribbean and was doing a great job protecting us from the storm outside as the winds approached 70 miles per hour sustained. Out hey, selling bananas in the hurricane? Yeah. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Yeah, I got some papaya. I got some popo. Any bananas or two? Um, I think, um, how do you, how do you eat this? Not, you just put it in two, and you'll get soft on there, I guess. Turn like this. Mm -hmm. And you just cut it, and just stick a spoon and eat it. The name of it. We started getting some last minute arrivals into the bay, and we all wondered what were they were going to do, because the bay was already full of capacity. There's two beds that are really close together right there. Holy cow! You can't even see out there now. I feel like a newscaster. So, guys. Hey, you know, you might not need to have that picture. It's a little windy today. <laughs> they kept arriving, and somehow room was found for everybody. Nobody was turned away with a hurricane looming. Anyone who didn't need to be there was now being evacuated from the marina as Hurricane Tomas had just been upgraded to Category 2 as he was scheduled to arrive at Marigold Bay on the west coast. All the workers from the marina were still out and trying to secure all the boats, making sure everybody was well tied up as now we were looking at 100 miles per hour winds sustained scheduled to arrive any time. Going through a hurricane on shore in a concrete building is one thing, but when your whole house is secured by nothing more than a few thin pieces of rope, it can be quite a different experience. As the wind started topping 70 knots at our masthead, we knew it was going to be a long night ahead. We considered ourselves very lucky to be protected in the shadow of the mega yacht, but even then we were getting some strong gusts coming through. Still not too nasty, but getting there. Yeah, here's your category one, Josh. What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Hurricane Tomas was definitely taking its toll on the bay, but so far everything and everyone were holding up well. It 
It was a very long night as the winds topped 90 miles per hour and we were all up checking lines and making sure everything was safe and just listening to the wind howling in the rigging of all the sailboats. But by morning, Thomas had started to pass by and the winds died down and finally everything returned to calm. As everyone began to emerge, we could see everybody had fared fairly well, but some were not quite so lucky. Fortunately for us, our biggest problems were just in drying out a very wet boat. Luckily, the biggest thing we suffered damage to was just our Canadian flag. The rest of the island wasn't so lucky. It wasn't until later we discovered that Hurricane Tomas had claimed 14 lives on St. Lucia alone and caused major damage and devastation on St. Vincent and the southern part of St. Lucia. Now well, today it was time to retire our, our uh, Hurricane Tomas flag. The one that went through the hurricane with us it was going to be retired shortly, but this was all that was left of it when we took it down today. So it definitely weathered a few knots. But we've got our new flag hoisted and christened and we're ready to go and uh, we're still here in St. Lucia. And we want to thank St. Lucia for Safe Harbor. Yep. Gave us a great place to hide out from an unexpected storm because it kind of came up real fast on everybody. But uh, we came through it unscathed aside from the flag and our webcam. <laughs> so we're going to say goodbye to St. Lucia here in the next few hours and on with the adventure. Dominica, here we come. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one and uh, like I said I did go through a lot of the hard drives here and there's lots of other stuff I could go and show you. A lot of stuff that's never been released. Previously unseen footage, tons and tons of it. And I even found one of my original videos, well actually I think it might be my original video back in 2003. First time I put a video together using actual video editing software, although it wasn't done on a video camera, it was just uh, animated stills. So I've got stuff from uh, even back almost 15 years ago. So I don't know if you guys want to see some of that old stuff, but you can let me know in the comments below. And I'll leave you with a few scenes from our last visit to Marigo Bays. We were there last summer actually with Nate and Jordan on board, so previous crew, and uh, show you what it looks like almost in uh, real time. But you guys can let me know if you want to see some of that old stuff and uh, just leave a comment below. Other than that, I will leave you with a few scenes from our last visit to Marigold Bay, which was just last summer with uh, Nate and Jordan on board, previous crew. So I hope you enjoy, and look forward to hearing from you guys. Have a great one. Talk to you soon.
Yeah, yeah I think this is my this is my best. Dominica. This is my best sunset in the Caribbean by far. Hmm. Oh man, it's like you can't even. It's like, fire. it's like the water's like the same as the sky. You can't even so tell where it ends. It's amazing. Yeah.